so you look at your chart price is going up but something feels off and then suddenly price crashes what if i told you the truth was never in the candles but in the aggression behind them this is where the cumulative delta exposes the real battle between buyers and sellers and today i'm going to break it down in a way you will never forget so first things first cumulative delta is the net difference between market buys and market sales added up over time so think of it as the heartbeat of the market's aggression here is how the cumulative delta works when traders buy at market hating the ask they are aggressive. When traders sell at the market, hitting the bid, they are also aggressive, just in the opposite direction of the buyers. So the sellers and the buyers at market are all aggressive. So cumulative delta tracks that aggression bar by bar, summing up who is really in control. So before we go further, let's first get into this. Why do market orders move more than limit orders? Let's first understand that. Limit orders don't move the market. They just sit there waiting for execution. But market orders, they move price. They're the ones hitting the other side. So when buyers are more aggressive than sellers, delta goes up. And when sellers are more aggressive than buyers, delta goes down. And when you add that up, over time, that's your cumulative delta. So what does cumulative delta tell us that candlesticks can't? Now here is where it gets powerful. If price makes a new high, but cumulative delta doesn't, that is weakness. It means price was pushed up, but buyers were exhausted. And if price made a new low, but delta didn't make that new low, and instead of delta making a new low, it rose or it went up, that means sellers were losing momentum at that point, or sellers are losing momentum at that point, and a reversal could be near. So you're now seeing the real intent behind the candles. So let's get into the hidden traps and absorption that cumulative delta helps us see. So have you, have you ever seen price flat while delta spikes? That is absorption. If price is flat but delta is spiking, that is absorption. It means big players are letting aggressive traders throw themselves into the trap so that they can reverse. They are absorbing those orders of the aggressive traders without letting price move. So you will see lots of buy orders hitting, 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 hitting the market, but then price is not going up. It's just flat. So that is absorption. They're letting in those buy orders and then the reverse price on those buy orders. So the cumulative delta helps you see that. And when those big players are ready, to take their move, price usually explodes to the opposite side of those that have been hitting the market. If it has been sellers hitting the market strongly, but then price is flat, that means sellers are being absorbed into the trap and then price is going to spike up instead. So in conclusion or in summary, of each and everything about the cumulative delta. Cumulative delta isn't just a fancy indicator. It is actually a weapon. It lets you see who is actually behind the move and when they are running out of ammo. So the next time you see price climbing, don't just ask what price is doing. Ask who is behind this price climbing and why are they running out of power as price is going up. In the next video, I'll show you how to use the delta divergence or the cumulative delta divergence to your advantage to get sniper entry and with real live examples on the charts. So don't just trade what you see. That's what the cumulative delta tells us. Trade what is actually happening and what you might see on the, ch on the candlestick chart might have a very deep story beneath it when you use the cumulative delta buzz you'd actually see that so subscribe comment uh whatever you do not understand and i'll be in the comments to reply and then also hit the notification button so that you do not miss any videos so so take your notes and i'll see you in the next video